Well, Harvest Log day 13 on the 5th of August and we've switched over onto harvesting peas um, with the forecast that's just coming along uh, in front of us. These are pretty vulnerable crops um, as they are quite low to the ground um, and they are also quite valuable in terms of, in terms of the quality of them. Um, this is a variety called Daytona, which is a large blue pea. Um, I don't quite know why they call them blue when they're really sort of greeny, greeny blue, I suppose. Um, destined for sort of mushy peas, dried peas. Um, so if you're in a supermarket buying peas for uh, making into soups, all that sort of stuff. So what's really important is the colour of them. Um, so they need to be nice and bright, not too much staining. Um, and the staining, I'm going to try and get it in focus a bit. Uh, the staining occurs when they're sort of mature and ready um, and they sort of bleach in the sunshine. So um, harvesting is pretty crucial to these. We've got a day cutting these before. Uh, we have to wait for a couple of days uh, because of the harvest interval. We desiccate the peas off, which is um, as a spray um, which which effectively kills them and uh, ripens them all off um, evenly they are they're an indeterminate species so they will sort of keep flowering and you get mature pods at one end of the plant at the bottom and then you've got immature ones at the other end and it's just a way of ripening and evening those uh, those crops up so that the the product that we're harvesting is much more uniformed uh, and easier to deal with and easier to process um, in the factory and then on to the consumers. Um, so yeah, day cutting today, uh, then we should be back on wheat for a couple of days um, before um, coming to try and wrap the peas up um, before the end of the week, uh, which will be, uh, be a good job. Uh, yield's pretty good. Um, they average 3.6 tonnes a hectare, um, which is up 200% on last year. Um, and it's pretty dire. Uh, weather in, in last summer's uh, growing season. Um, this year they got off to a much better start, had a bit of rain after drilling, and then had a good rain kind of June time for, for pod fill. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, pretty happy with, uh, with how they're yielding. Just hope the quality is good enough to pass. 